Hello everybody, welcome to Evolution. The bowl season is upon us, my friends. I appreciate it as, as again, as always, I'm your host, Bama Grad, and uh, I'm here back tonight for another great show. I wish to thank everybody uh, that, uh, I'm sorry I didn't bring you the other recaps of the other weeks. Uh, I just had a last minute uh, turn in vacation type thing come in. And I jumped at the chance to get back to Orlando, take my kids to Walt Disney World. Of course, my uh, uh, my uh, young my youngest son just loved it all together. Uh, my daughter did not go, so oh well, she's been there before, but she's bigger girl now. And of course, we took the uh, Mr. John Bryant. We took him, but he stayed with his grandparents most of the time. Uh, I think he spent a total of three hours in the park at one time. Uh, he did not last very long. Uh, a, lot, a lot of waiting in some lines, but I'll tell you this right now. We're going to go to Walt Disney World now uh, between end of October going into November. Perfect time to go because it's just absolutely awesome over there. Very low lines. Yeah, we ran into some big ones with the bigger rides, but other than that, it was awesome. I am here tonight bringing you the bowl report. As I understand, no games have been played yet for the bowl, so that's good. I'm able to get this in. And the reason you're seeing me tonight with shades on is to emphasize one point. The future is so bright for this league and the whole evolution thing, I got to wear shades. Yes, sir. That's why I'm wearing them tonight. Whether I keep them on the, during the entire <laughs> broadcast tonight, I have no idea, but they are pretty comfortable. They are light. They are lightly tinned on the inside, so, um, you know, so that's kind of a nice thing. But kind of just going on, kind of jump into the bowl picture tonight. Everybody had an awesome year this year, I think. Yes, we had some struggles with some other teams and stuff like that, but overall, everybody just had a fantastic year this year. We uh, had more users into bowl games this year than we did last year, which was uh, fantastic. And uh, as we keep upping the echelon up and uh, for the year and everything, so that's great. And that's a great thing to have for this year. So uh, I'm going to kind of jump right into it tonight. Starting off with the uh, first bowl of the, <laughs> really the first bowl of the season, which belongs to me and my Hawaii Warriors. We're heading to New Mexico and uh, we're, we'll, as Hawaii, will represent Give my Hawaii signal here. We're all Hawaii will represent the the Warriors out of the of course the WAC, and we will be tussling with the TCU Horn Frogs. And as far as I know, there are some users that have had some excellent success with TCU this year and last year, so that's a good thing. Um, but I'm looking to to just this is probably going to be a very tough game uh, for this game. And, uh, and just to let everybody know, I'm going to unveil a new offense tonight. Something to look out for, ne for, for next year. So, guaranteed there, my friends. But I'll be tussling with TCU in the first first bowl of the of the closing year. Next bowl we have for our user is the Las Vegas Bowl, and it will be Arizona State coming in 6-6 six and six out of Pac-10, taking on Colorado State. And, of course, 8-22, who, who turned in another fabulous year. 11-1. and one. Awesome year. And I'm going to take these off real quick. Ah, hello, everybody. But, um, Colorado State comes in 11-1 into this matchup. 8-22, fantastic job. And getting your boys into the uh, BCS picture, you've been there uh, pretty a bit of the of this last remaining of the of the season, so that's very good that you're able to get into the top 25 of the BCS poll. So that's very good. But uh, they will tussle with six and six Arizona State. You know, so a little high note to my game. TCU also comes into our matchup six and six, so that's going to be a very interesting matchup. May 22. It uh, should be a good game between him and the, uh, between the Rams and the Sun Devils, and it should be a well game. All the bowls, really, even last year's bowls were just unbelievable. Uh, you know, I lost mine last year, but I really made it close last year with that with that with the game I put in against Rutgers, and uh, that's how thing. 
next ball in the picture to point set a ball and we have our user Indy called 79 who just did a 360 turnaround unbelievable turnaround with Wyoming last year they were just bad four and eight on the year this year 11 and one awesome job Indy Colt 79 obviously the boys you are bringing into that school are just paying major dividends to you this year I kind of had a feeling after looking at your recruiting class last year it was going to be a threat so a uh, great job there he swing of uh, yeah hey now he's going to Indy Colts 79 with that great turnaround with Wyoming I expect great future, a great future with Wyoming um, as long as he stays at that school uh, will he be moving on? I don't know. We shall see. I'll discuss more of that in, uh, a little bit later. Uh, Hawaii Bowl. Bob Jr., who gave me a hell of a game this year as I lost to him in Ruston, Louisiana this year in a classic overtime battle. A game I should have won, but didn't. It just things did not go my way in that game. But uh, he comes in the matchup 6-5, and 4-4 four and four in conference. And he will tussle the Tulsa Golden Hurricane in the Hawaii Bowl. So Bob Jr. comes to my turf in Hawaii, where right now Louisiana Tech does not have the best record playing on that turf uh, historically. Uh, just not a good record. Not just, Hawaii has just not been kind to, Bob J to Louisiana Tech anytime they come calling. So we'll see if Bob Jr. can return the surfaces. Get his team to that big win in the year seven and five. I think he can do it. I know you can, my friend. Next up, the Emerald Bowl in San Francisco. This is a bowl I was at last year, and I lost that game to Rutgers. This year, we have Zickery, who won the WAC conference with a ten and two record, eight and zero, oh, perfect eight and zero oh record in conference play. Awesome job, my friend. I'm sorry I wasn't around for our game. It just happened. All that just kind of happened, and I just had to take a break when I could. Go recharge my batteries and get it going again. Because I can tell you this right now. I am fully charged, and I'm fully pissed off for next season. And uh, any team that wants to, anybody that, that plays against me, better be ready for my best, because that's all I'm going to bring you next year is my best. And that's not a threat. Okay? Don't take it as a threat. That is a damn promise. <laughs> but anyway, Nevada, 10 and 2, 8 0 in conference. They go to the Emerald Bowl, take on California Golden Bears, who come in the matchup 6 and 6. This is the fourth 6 and 6 team battle our users this year in a bowl game. So it should be interesting. Emerald Bowl, of San Francisco. And, and, uh, Another bowl game, San Diego State, with my boy Big Bear, brings his 6-6 six and six Aztecs into the Armed Forces Bowl in Washington, D.C. Uh, Big Bear, all I can say is, wear your Patriot colors with great pride, my friend. This is one of the bowls I uh, have great respect for, not only in the fact that I have served in the military and I've done my time. Uh, I'm glad they really made this bowl because it's done well. Uh, in in real football, it has been an absolute joy to uh, have this ball added to the ball picture. I can't think of anything better than this. But uh, he will take on Southern Miss, who comes in the matchup of six and five, and this should be a battle here. Southern Miss Golden Eagles against San Diego State Aztecs and Big Bear. So best of luck to you, my friend. Hope you pull it out. The Liberty Bowl in Memphis, Tennessee, and that will pit. The eight and five Rice Owls, who again T two last year bad year, raced all that five and seven. This year eight and five completely turned around. He really got this team going. He had some early bumps in the year, but then he certainly turned it around. The rest of the year he finished second in the conference, uh, made the championship game in his conference, and lost to Sox and Gators. You know, from what I understand, it was a hell of a game, uh, well played game, but. Uh, and I tell you, T2 and Rice out, they're going to be a, a force to reckon with. Uh, so, we shall see. But he gets, surprise, Notre Dame, Irish. So, it should be a battle there. Notre Dame comes in, as everybody knows, the 
Notre Dame tradition, all this and that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 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 and all that stuff. Well, we shall see what happens when this game comes up. Uh, it should be a heck of a game, and that should be a quite a battle either way. So, T2, best of luck to you. Hope you get McGuffey, get that McGuffey engine running and get it strong. Um, I predict he will break over 100 yards in this game. It should be done. Notre Dame, uh, their defense is not the Notre Dame of the past. Uh, they've actually gotten more. Their idea on defense this year, especially with their head coach, is a little bit speedier defense. So not a lot of meat on that front, but don't let the size fool you. Uh, uh, they can't be pushed around. Uh, I've played against Notre Dame in numerous other dynasties I run. And trust me, they can be dominated at the line of scrimmage with the running game. So best of luck to you, T2, in your game. And last but not least, the final bowl game for the users. This is going to be turning on the new year, January 1st. And it will be the <coughs> Sugar Bowl in New Orleans. I can tell you this right now. New Orleans is very happy with this matchup because they get two out-state teams coming in. And they don't have to worry about LSU coming in their own ground. So that's a good thing. Baton Rouge is only an hour and a half drive from New Orleans. So trust me, if the LSU had made the Sugar Bowl, uh, a lot of money lost there for, for New Orleans. But uh, but uh, the matchups in this one, of course, uh, is, uh, because I'm going to give you a little bit of history because of what happened with the SEC this year, Alabama going perfect again in the season so they were landed into the bcs championship game so normally what tradition would have been winner of the conference would go to the sugar bowl in the old times well this is the bcs time so if you're number one and you win your conference guess what you're going to the bcs championship game that means sugar bowl picks up at largest and this uh, and the at largest for this game is UCF and Saxon Gators and his fabulous job going 11 and 1. The one dinger first game of the year against Colorado State in age 22. Uh, and the rest of the way, he's won them all. He's won them all 11 in a row. Kind of a little, little ding on my prediction. <laughs> I predicted he would go two years in a row undefeated. It didn't happen. He lost the game, first game of the year, but he, were, but Sox and Gators rebounded nicely the rest of the way, going 11 and one, perfect in this conference. Also, two users in this in this dynasty that have gone perfect in their conference, Zickery and Sox and Gators. So fabulous job there, gentlemen. Uh, great job there. Um, but uh, UCF lands their their court in and the opponent they get is the Auburn Tigers who I believe finished second in the conference they finished 10 and 2 on the year and both of these teams were picked as at large teams because of the fact of the uh, of what happened with the SEC and everything else going on this year so they landed uh, I think it was uh, Big East to that would get into Sugar Bowl well, right now in the BCS Conference, BCS Championship game. You have Alabama against Pittsburgh for it all. So Sugar Bowl picked up at largest. They got Sox and Gators, and they got Auburn. All I can tell you, Sox and Gators, do me one thing. Just tear the living hell out of Auburn. I cannot stand Auburn. Hit them with a passion. Beat their ass cleanly. As you can see on my shirt, roll fucking tide. You better freaking believe it. And if anybody, of course, nobody has any doubt because of my name and my avatar and where I am. <laughs> I live in Alabama, so you know, what else can you expect? But anyway, that was a job, fabulous job there, my friends, on your bowl, on your bowl, uh, getting that, getting to the bowls and everything. So great job there, guys. And I will return in a few minutes, kind of discuss some things. Uh, that we may be looking forward towards next year.